Hello. Hello. It's time for another adventure. And what are we doing today? A lot of things. We are doing a lot of things. <laughs> we are, <laughs> Anna's excited. Um, so we're not in Florida, but what we do are lots of Disney out. So yeah, Anna's saying hi. Say hi. Um, so it's going to feel kind of like a Florida day because we'll be doing some things that are Florida related, but we are home. We are in the Charlotte area. Technically, we're in Concord, North Carolina. And uh, today we're going to be kind of doing birthday celebrations. Yay. Yay. It's my birthday. Uh, tomorrow, officially. Um, so we're going to start with lunch at one of our favorite places. It's one of Anna's favorite places. Anna, do you know where we're at? Where are we at? Yeah, we're going to get some chicken. And we're at PDQ. Yay. Yay. <laughs> So PDQ is one of our family favorites. Um, they actually have locations in Florida, a lot of locations. So just had it when we were there last time. We did. <laughs> yeah. We went over to uh, Flamingo Crossings, uh, which is like the new area. They have a lot of like Disney College program kids are over there. Um, so if you're in Disney on your next trip, you can venture on the west side of the resort and uh, go get some PDQ. But we'll show you guys PDQ uh, PDQ here in a second. Uh, I think we're also going to do some racing stuff because North Carolina is home to America's Motorsports, NASCAR. Um, so we'll show you some sights around town and just have a fun-filled birthday day. So let's go uh, get this adventure started. Let's go. Here we go. In we go. Oh, good job. Chicken, seven days a week. All right, so our food came out super quick. I got like the crispy chicken deluxe meal. Got chicken, tomato, lettuce, some fries, and then their signature sauce. So that's what I got. And the cost wasn't too bad. I think it was only like $11 or something like that. And then you get a drink, so. Of course, I got my sweet tea. Oh, the sweet tea is Joffrey's. Yes, they have sweet tea from Joffrey's. So if you like a Joffrey's sweet tea or Joffrey's tea or anything like that, you can get that here as well. So Anna's already going to town on hers. Are you liking your lunch, Anna? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so the crispy chicken deluxe meal there was only $11.19. And then Sierra, what did you get? I got the three piece nugget or tenders with fries. Yeah? Yep. Tenders and fries. And it also comes with a side of toast, which I think is new. Brand new. Um, and that one is only ten forty nine. But since it's my birthday. You like my sauce? We also got ten dollars off. So that was pretty good. It's a good deal. Well, that was a delicious lunch. Uh, it was really quick. Like by the time I would um, place the order and get the drinks, it was ready. Um, Anna, did you enjoy your lunch? Was it fun? Was it good? Yeah, yeah. good. Well, um, the lighting here is I'm awful. sorry, it's, it's bright. Woo! It's cold, it's like 47 out today, but it's 46, sorry. But it's very bright. So we're gonna go, I don't know exactly what we're gonna do next. Um, Hallmark? Soon. Soon. We'll go to Hallmark soon. Might do track house, which is one of the racing teams. Maybe I'll go go-kart racing. Hmm. I know. We'll see. So many things to do up here. <laughs> yes, there's a lot to do up in Cabarrus County, Concord, North Carolina. So um, we had a really good lunch though. It was good. PDQ, if you didn't know, PDQ also originated from the Charlotte area. Originally was called Tenders, um, and there is still um, a couple of those around actually, still with the Tenders name. So maybe one day we'll do an adventure over there. Um, it's over like in the Mooresville Cornelius area. It's only like 30 minutes from here. Yeah, it's not far. Um, and again, there's more race teams over there. So if you're into NASCAR, um, make sure to subscribe because we'll have more racing content coming for you over the course of our adventures. So Which, fun fact, that's actually how we met. So, it's Yes, it is. Yay. <laughs> yep. Um, we both came over here for motorsports, for racing. Um, we did some of that. If they didn't already know, I don't know. 
if you didn't know. <laughs> Especially if you're new to us, to the Carpenters with m, &M Magical Adventures, the Carpenters Magical Adventures, our YouTube channel here. Um, but let's continue with today's adventure and uh, see where we go to next. Yep. All right, we are at Trackhouse Racing. They are a Cup Series team, the NASCAR Cup Series. Uh, we're gonna go inside, see what's new. They have won a race already this year in 2024 and their shop is located in North Carolina, in Concord, North Carolina, next to the Concord Regional Airport. So let's go inside, check out what's going on here today as the adventures continue. Ooh. What do you think? Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> ah, my tail. Want to see bikes? Ah, good tail. Yeah, thanks. Good tail. Ah, good tail. Ah, good tail. Ah, good tail. Don't touch. Don't touch. No touch. What do you think? What'd you see? Oh. You see the race car? Yes, yes. Yeah? Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> you want to go see the car? Oh. Okay, let's go this way. Okay. okay. Want to hold my hand? Me. Right, come on, let's go this way. Hold my hand. We're going to go this way. This way. Okay, mommy's gonna get you. Woo, stop. Mommy's gonna get you. Come here, look. Get, get, get. Here. I know, it'd be nice if they had like she little stuff still over here. She can still see. Yeah. Wow. No, no. Look. She can see. Yeah. See the car? Alright. All the different merchandise. They've got plenty of things for. Like Ross Chastain, he's a watermelon man, cool hats, check this one out, 45, Dan Suarez, Some rear bumpers. That's actually autograph. That's trusting. Pretty cool. So one of the owners of Track House is actually Pitbull. If you guys did not know that. So it's pretty cool. He's got like the Miami kind of landscape behind them here on one of the walls and over here you actually get to see a race shop so it's a pretty good viewing area um, this is actually one of Ross, Ch Ross Chastain's cars sponsored by Bush Light this year So when you visit NASCAR race shops, make sure to see if they have what they call a hero card available for you. Um, this shop did have two. So we got uh, Ross Chastain's new card. He's the number one car. And then Daniel Suarez in the 99. We got his card as well. So pretty cool. They got Watermelon Man with his watermelons. And he's known as that because he grew up uh, being a, or he still is, a watermelon farmer actually in Florida. And then Dan Suarez over there with the, the Mexican flag as he is from Mexico. So it was pretty cool cards. So as we were pulling out of Track House, if you can see, they actually have pit practice going on um, in the back here. So that's pretty cool to see the NASCAR team teams uh, getting ready for the next weekend's race. All right, I am parked. I am stopped at a red light, but we are at Track House pulling out 
and we're actually going to go right across the street for our next stop, which is K1 Speed. Going to go race some go-karts. All right, so we are at K1 Speed. Um, Brad is actually getting ready to go out and do his birthday race. So Anna and I are hanging out over on the side, and we'll see him go in a second. There he goes. Say go, go, daddy. <laughs> go, go, go. Wow. Actually goes all the way around. So yeah. And what's cool about these cars are actually they are all electric. So yeah. There he goes. So K1 Speed is more than just go-karts, which you'll see out here, they are doing another race at this moment. Um, it's also a huge like venue filled with all sorts of games and attractions and arcades. So it's pretty cool. Um, we also have some like racing memorabilia up top. So you'll see like that, you know, Chase Elliott's bumper and um, the 42, which probably at that point was like Carl Larson, Jimmy Johnson's hood is up top there. They got Michelle Filigano, Jeff Gordon. So they've got a lot of cool memorabilia here. Huge like graphics up on the walls. Um, during race week for Charlotte Motor Speedway, they actually will bring in some drivers and do autograph signings. Uh, here's a cool look at Dale Jr.'s car. Um, this is when he used to race for Hendrick Motorsports. So it's got Amp Energy on it. Jr.'s signature up top on the door. Pretty cool. So, and then they have like private rooms down this way. So if you have like a, a birthday party or a corporate event, you can also uh, rent out these rooms over here. Oh, and there's Sierra and Anna just strolling along here. Looking all the race cars. Ah, wow. You see the race cars, Anna? Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to play any arcade games, you come over to like this little kiosk area and fill out and purchase a gaming card. And they can reload it. And if you're not going to play anymore, you can recycle it. It's pretty cool. And if you're here for a birthday party, moms and dads, you could even get a massage while you wait for your kids to finish up their racing. Nice. Kurt Busch.
We also have like a full bar, so if you need snacks, alcohol, which you can have after you finish driving. And there's a look at the menu up there. Seems like we always find Universal or Disney everywhere we go. This is Jimmy Johnson's car when he had the Batman versus Superman paint scheme. So this is Jimmy's car. And then over here on this side, you'll see the Batman car that Dale Jr. drove. Pretty cool. It's taxed too. Yeah. That's the best thing about this. 17. Oh, eh, it might be broke. Yeah. Kidding. It's all good. It's da, 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 da. Oh, that's cute. Mm hmm. I can get it down there. See the princesses? Yeah. yeah. I was like, do they have any Slytherin? But they do. Those are the back. And the socks are cool. Okay, you know, we're not shopping. <laughs> Salt and pepper shakers, too. Cute. Yeah, they are. So you could get Lilo and Stitch or Stitch and Angel. No, I don't. We don't need them. And a whole bunch of Harry Potter things. Yeah, the crystal. This one's cute, too. Yeah. That's what's here for saying it's cute. Stitch is like everywhere right now. He is a very popular experiment. More mugs. So next we headed over to Hendrick Motorsports. On this wall, you can see that they are a 10 time NASCAR Cup Series champions, including Jeff Gordon, Terry Labonte, Jimmy Johnson, Chase Elliott, and most recently, Carl Larson. Rick Hendrick, owner of Hendrick Motorsports, has an amazing car collection. These are just some of his vehicles that he now has displayed in their museum. They also have this Days of Thunder race car. So if you are a fan of that movie, you can see this race car that was inspired by the story of Jeff Gordon and Hendrick Motorsports per se. Um, so it's pretty cool to see that over here. Then they have more race cars, including Jimmy Johnson, who is a seven time NASCAR Cup Series champion with Hendrick Motorsports. See all of his different Lowe's Chevrolets. And the one here on the end, the silver one, is his final car that he ran um, in his last start for Hendrick Motorsports when he went out and retired.
Now, if you watched our earlier video when we went down to Disney World earlier in February or um, early March, we went to Daytona International Speedway to go see if we could find some William Byron Daytona 500 Champion merch, and we did here at Hendrick Motorsports a couple weeks later, including this hat, which was pretty cool to see. So um, I might pick up some items here. Um, these are like flat bills. You can see the hats are 35 and the shirts were 30. How cool are these little guys? They have like little like mustaches and it's like uh, plushes. Um, here's my favorite one though, William Byron representing the number 24 Exalter Raptor. Then I found these Kyle Larson cars. Um, Kyle Larson's gonna do the Indy 500 and the Coke 600 this year, so it was pretty cool to see. And uh, the diecast cars are only 11 bucks, and there's plenty of them. Well, our adventure has brought us over to Krispy Kreme Donuts. And the hot sign is on. We're gonna get us some donuts. I have returned to the car with donuts. And Starbucks. <laughs> and Starbucks. We are about to dive into these. So good. Well, when we got home this evening, we got magic in the mail. We're gonna open up the box and see, and show you guys actually, we know what's inside, but we'll show you what we got from the Disney store during their uh, recent sale that they had for D23 members which is the official Disney fan club. So let me show you guys what's inside the box. All right, the box is open. Let's see. Um, so much stuff in, which is good to see. All right, let's. Awesome, okay. So first up is a plush Rex. That Anna's gonna love. We were gonna have this here for St. Patrick's Day because it's green, but he didn't get in until a little bit after. So excited to get him. Let's see what else is in here. We've got we've got a shirt for Anna, which is like monsters. We'll have to show that off. Sierra got Jesse ears, which this was part of the uh, Disney 100 collection, the decades. And then I got some early birthday gifts, Disneyland Resort hats, and I got also a tumbler. See, up. There's the tumbler, and it's got both coasts, Disneyland and Disney World, on this one. See, it's got. Like California Adventure and Epcot, the Disneyland Castle, Tower of Terror, Cinderella Castle, um, Kathy Circle, and Mickey Fun Wheel, Fantasmic. So that's cool. I'm excited to use this one for both coasts. And yeah, that was a Disneyland hat. Maybe that's a clue for something coming soon. But um excited that this all came from the disney store um and it was great to take advantage of their sale the plushes were like 20 dollars off or they were 20 dollars, i should say so then with the coupon i brought this like rex and he's huge like, look how big he is down to like 15 bucks the ears were on sale already they were clearing cle clearancing that out and so this one was only like Again, I think like 10 or $15. And the hat was full price, $45. Now, since I don't get a discount out there, unless you use like my Disney credit card, I took advantage of the deal now to make sure I could have it. So that's cool. Love the merch haul. Well, and as you guys can tell, I love my hats. I've got a Mickey plain hat. I've got a Walt Disney World hat. And now I have a Disneyland hat, all of like this white and black uh, Nike dry fit scheme. So I love them. They're, they're great. Check that out. Right, so um, thanks for following along on another magical adventure here 
with us, everyone. Um, it was a great day. I'm um, getting to celebrate my birthday and spending another year here on, uh, on Earth, celebrating magical memories with my family and with all of you as well here on YouTube. So if you liked today's content, give us a big thumbs up, comment below, and if you're new around here, please subscribe. Uh, you help us out. Um, we are a fun-loving family that loves magic, loves adventure, and sharing it all with you guys. And also some of our tips and tricks along the way. And if you ever need to book a vacation or are ready to book a vacation or just want to quote, no obligation, uh, send us a note. We are the Carpenters at MNMMagicalAdventures.com. We are travel planners specializing in Disney destinations, Universal Orlando, Universal Hollywood. We're at Caribbean, all-inclusive resorts as well, like Sandals and Beaches. So... Without with that, everyone, again, thanks for tuning in for another vlog here. We'll see you next Sunday. And remember, every day is an adventure. Sit down. Here, you want to sit up here? Okay, okay, you ready? Daddy's got something. This was your St. Patrick's Day gift. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> what is it, Anna? Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> Is that, is that Rex? Rex? Rex. 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 <laughs> Rex. Yay, it's Rex. 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 Oh, Aww, do you love him? Rex. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yay. Yay.